Caterpillar introduced its line of vocational trucks in 2011. This model by Norscott is a CT660 day cab tractor with a Trail King lowboy trailer. Like nearly all of Norscott's models it comes in a standard branded box and there's only a few details on it about the model and the real truck. When you get the model out of the box it's secured to the base using the tightly wound ties that Norscott likes to use. Although they are painful to remove they do at least secure the model well preventing damage during delivery. The model is in two parts which is the tractor and the lowboy trailer and there's no assembly to do or parts to fit. As I'm an expert you can see how fast I can unpack a model just be careful if you want to try working at this speed at home. For the review of the detail we'll start by looking under the tractor first. The engine and gearbox look pretty good but there's no prop shaft uh, connecting to the rear axles and there's a bit of a cheap looking hollow plastic moulding of one of the boxes on the side of the chassis but at least the tyres look pretty good. Let's look around the rest of the tractor it's a smart enough looking model but there is a lot of plastic on it the mirrors at the front and on the door are plastic although they're quite strong. The wheel hubs are also plastic as is the fender at the front which is uh, quite flexible at the ends. Moving around the steps and tank under the cab are not the best grade of plastic and the air horns and the exhaust stack both seem a little bit too small compared to photos of the real machine. There's more simple plastic behind the cab in terms of the steps uh, leading up and at the rear um, you have quite a decent looking light bar with uh, real rubber mud flaps which is quite good. The wheel arch is uh, very shiny, no, no detail on them and, and they're plastic too as is the box on the side. If we look inside the cab it's got some detail although for some reason the steering wheel inside seems to be set way too low um, compared to uh, any usual kind of a truck. The Trail King Lowboy has some good quality tyres at the rear and the light bar's pretty good too with some uh, detailed small graphics. On top of the deck the surface is a good uh, wood grain effect plastic. And at the front the gooseneck is fairly simple with some graphics applied. We will begin the review of the features with the rolling test for the tractor and it rolls reasonably well although the front axle um, is loose in terms of its steering so it wants to keep steering in different directions. The rear axles don't have uh, working suspension but there's a little bit of play in the mechanism and they're a continuous axle so all the wheels turn when you spin them. The steering angle is reasonable although it does foul at the extremities. Um, if you set the steering um, you can push it along but the wheels keep wanting to go their own direction. The opening hood has been implemented very well. It uh, goes forward smoothly, can stay open and you've got a good looking engine actually uh, under the hood uh, nicely detailed and when you're done the hood closes smoothly. Moving to the trailer it's a fairly basic and simple affair the uh, wheels turn very easily they're on uh, common axles and uh, at the front you've got the loading ramps which just go up and down and the gooseneck is also hinged with uh, quite a lot of uh, movement possible and you can also detach the gooseneck and the way to do that is there's a kind of a little clip that you twist and then you have to push through to release the gooseneck but because of I think paint thicknesses um, it's very very stiff so the thing to do is just to put something across and apply some pressure and then that pops the gooseneck off and then you've got the trailer ready to be loaded and you can just load the uh, ramps down put them down and uh, get your nearest friendly caterpillar uh, construction machine and load it onto the back of the trailer. Putting the gooseneck back on is simple and straightforward. You just line up the pins into the trailer deck and push down and then on the underneath you need to then just tighten up the, the little clip, lock it into place and then it's fixed. Fold up the ramps and then you're ready to uh, connect it up to the tractor and that's a simple uh, push fit process um, onto the fifth wheel. With the big rig all set up you can practice your manoeuvring and it all works well enough. You can get uh, a tight angle between the tractor and the trailer so you can pose it any way you like. This offering from Norscott doesn't pretend to be a top quality truck model. 
but it's cheap enough and if you just want something to display your cat machines on then it can be recommended for that. Mm -hmm.